Here with former Buffalo Bills running back Fred Jackson, Jackson, who is now with the Seattle Seahawks. And uh, Fred, first of all, thank you so much for taking the time out to join us. Uh, not a problem. I appreciate you guys having me on. Well, first and foremost, uh, I know you, you've partnered up with Toyota to do this fan moji thing. Why don't you tell me a little bit about that? Uh, man, um, you know, as fans, we always are tweeting or Instagramming, you know, uh, about whatever sport it is that we may follow, and you know, especially football. Uh, and Toyota's created an app, you know, that you can go on, uh, you know, iTunes and download. It's called Fan Mojis, um, and you can put a visual effect to however it is you're feeling about a game, or you know, send a text message to a friend, um, you know, gloating or, or, or you know, talking a little trash to him about uh, your team, and you know, put a visual effect with that with one of the fan emojis and uh, it's a lot of fun to be a part of you know uh, I know it's something that I could do with teammates and former teammates is you know send them a little you know uh, fan emoji about you know what it is maybe a player or something that I've seen and um, Toyota's done a tremendous job giving you a lot of them to choose from so it's a lot of fun to be a part of. Have you sent any of those fan emojis to anybody like Ryan Fitzpatrick or somebody like that? <laughs> you know what? That's going to be the first thing I do when I get off of this interview is I'm going to go send one to him, and uh, I'm sure he'll send something back. <laughs> well, Fred, obviously uh, we, we saw your career here in Buffalo, and, and really it, it, uh, it, it was a rather interesting way that things kind of, kind of happened. Uh, have you taken any – I know it's kind of been crazy since, you know, it was pretty close to the beginning of the season. Have you taken any time at all just to reflect on Buffalo and, and exactly what, uh, what that part of your career meant to you? Oh, man. You know, Buffalo will always be, you know, uh, have a tremendous place in my heart. You know, I always have a home there. You know, I'll always be able to get back there and, and uh, do things like that because they, you know, they, they, they supported me and, you know, gave me so much. So, um, but, you know, I'm, right now I'm just trying to focus on, you know, doing what I can to help, you know, us win in Seattle. You know, whenever my number's called, go out there and try and make a play for them. Uh, but everybody in Buffalo, you know, all the Bills Mafia knows that they will always have, always have a special place in my heart, and I appreciate everything that they've ever done for me. Yeah, the overall outreach from fans, I mean, uh, have you ever really seen, uh, you know firsthand about them when you're on the team, have you really seen anything like that when, when the, everything kind of happened the way that it did? Yeah, uh, they've shown me tremendous amount of respect and, you know, love. And, you know, I just want to let them know that I appreciate it. And, you know, I do see everything that they send me on Twitter and social media, um, you know, and I do, you know, genuinely appreciate that and uh, do appreciate all the support they've always shown me. And uh, I will always, you know, support them, you know, and hope the, the, West, the, the best for the Bills so, you know, that they can have something to be excited about out there in Buffalo. How much have you been keeping tabs on this year's version of the team uh, of, of the Bills, Fred? I know you're out there in the NFC West, so maybe it's a little bit easier because they're not going to be on your schedule unless you play them in the Super Bowl. But uh, have, you, have you been keeping mm -hmm. tabs on the Bills, and what do you think so far? I have. You know, I, I talk to Aaron Williams, you know, uh, three, four times a week. So uh, I'm, I'm constantly seeing what's going on with them, uh, seeing, you know, exactly what it is that they need to do, who it is they're playing and things like that. So, you know, with them playing Cincinnati, you know, I, I'm sure I'll reach out to, you know, some of them and let them know some of the things that I've, I, I noticed from the game. Um, but, you know, I, like I said, I have a lot of teammates that I was close to back there. You know, I want to see all those guys do well. I want to see, you know, uh, that whole city have something to celebrate. So, uh, you know, I definitely keep tabs on them. Yeah, Fred, it's a really interesting and completely unique situation. You just got done playing the Bengals. You were with the team that's playing the Bengals next, and you still have a ton of friends, like you pointed out, uh, on, on that team, on the Bills anyway. What do you see from the Bengals, with the Bills specifically in mind, that they can take advantage of most. Um, you know, we, we had some success running the ball. You know, uh, I think that's something that, you know, Buffalo will be able to do too. Um, you know, with the schemes that Greg has, I think that he brings something to the table that they can take advantage of. Uh, Tyrod is playing out of his mind right now. He's a tremendous quarterback. I think he's going to be able to make some plays. And um, our defensive line got after him. And, you know, we know in Buffalo they have one of the best defensive lines in the league. So uh, it would be fun to see what they do as well. I, I don't know if you've seen the news from the day. I'm sure you've probably been a little bit busy. But Tyrod Taylor is a bit sore. The Bills had to sign a, a quarterback in Josh Johnson. If E.J. Manuel has to play against the Bengals, uh, how do you think he fares against that, against that group? Oh, he'll do, yeah, he'll do just fine. You know, uh, I watched CJ. You know, since he came in as a rookie, he's con constantly, 
you know, improving his game, and it's something that uh, I think if he gets that opportunity to go out there and play, he'll do uh, just fine. Hey, knowing and seeing how the business works firsthand and all your time in Buffalo, did you ever really think you'd be on the opposite side of it where the business affects you more than anybody else? Uh, you know, I think at, at some point everybody's affected by the business part of it, you know, and, uh, you know, that was it was just a case for me, you know. Uh, un, un, like I said, I've always wanted to spend my career in, in, in one place, you know, and that's not the, the, the case. Um, but I've had a tremendous opportunity to come out to Seattle, you know, be with a you know, first-rate organization. Uh, they've done nothing but show me love since I've gotten here. Uh, teammates, you know, fans as well. So uh, it, it's a great opportunity for me to be here, you know, and, uh, you know, with the business side taking its part in it, you know, I, I've gotten to come to a tremendous place, and I'm extremely excited about it. What's been the biggest transition from life in Buffalo to life in Seattle? I'm sure it's a lot different. Oh, man, uh, I think the number one difference is just, you know, how much bigger, you know, it is. You know, Buffalo's a small market. You see, um, you know, pretty much the same people day in and day out. Um, you know, that's not the case out here in Seattle. You know, it's a large market, you know, a lot of different fans, a lot of different people everywhere. Um, so, you know, I, I think more than anything, that's the number one, you know, difference. Just when you're, you know, back in Buffalo, you're going to see all those guys that support you. You're going to see the fans, you know, on a constant basis. Um, and that's it's not necessarily the case out here in uh, Seattle. Did you have any regrets from your time in Buffalo? I know you're still in the throes of season, so you probably haven't had too much time to think about it. But uh, just on the on the very uh, surface, have, do you have any regrets from your time in, time in Buffalo? Uh, no, you know, I, I can't say that I have any regrets. You know, I, it's again, I haven't had a chance to sit back and reflect on it like, you know, maybe when I'm done playing football. Uh, but I enjoyed everything about being a Buffalo. You know, I, I, I made Buffalo a home. You know, I, I spent a lot of time in Buffalo. Kids are still in school in Buffalo now. Um, so I tried to enjoy it as much as possible. And, uh, you know, I think if you do something like that, you know, you don't have any regrets when, uh, you know, you're done playing there. Fred, from knowing you and talking to you for the past several years, I know that you're very adamant that you can still play in this league and that you're going to play for a few more years. How, how many more years do you think you got uh, you got left in the tank there? Oh, man. Um, you know, I think I still got, you know, at least three, you know, at the rate I'm going now. You know, I'm not taking that beating, you know, that, that, that a normal running back takes. Um, you know, but at this rate, you know, I still feel like I got at least three more in me. And, uh, you know, it's just on me to go out there and show that I can still compete and uh, make plays at a high level. Well, Fred, thank you so much for taking the time out to do this interview and uh, best of luck with everything out in Seattle. Thank you. I appreciate it.